Hello and welcome back to Sheaf Math. In today's lesson, you're going to learn about solving for the area of different shapes. Now, what is an area? An area is hard to describe, to be honest with you, but it's the measurement of the surface, in a sense, of something. All right, so let's say that we have this rectangle right here. We're going to be measuring the, uh, the surface of that. All right, so we have a rectangle that's 4 units by 10 units. If you were to divide the base, the 10, into 10 equal parts and make columns, and then divide the side, the 4 side, and divide it into 4 columns, what you'd end up with is a bunch of squares in there. And that is what we're trying to find, how many squares, and we call those square units. Now, the... Uh, the formula is length times width, so this is really easy. You just multiply um, the length times the width, which is also known as the base times height. It's 10 times 4, and that equals 40. And how we write it is 40 square units, but if you want to shortcut it, you can put 40 units squared like that. Now here's another example of a rectangle, and we have a 23 um, side and a 14 bottom or a base of 14 and a height of 23. We multiply those two together we get 322. Um, so the rectangle is probably the easiest of all of them. You just multiply the base times the height. Now let's look at an area of a triangle. Let's look at this one right here. This is a triangle with a a base of 12 and a height of 5. We know that's the height because it is a, uh, a right triangle, and uh, that's the perpendicular height of the triangle. Now, a little bit about this is that a triangle is exactly half of a rectangle. If you look at it this way, if we were to take the um, area of the rectangle, the big rectangle there, we would multiply 12 times 5. But since it's um, a triangle is half, we're going to cut that in half. So we're going to multiply 5 times 12, which makes 60, and then we're just going to cut it in half, divide it by 2, and we get 30. And so our answer for this would be 30 square units. Now, the actual formula for the area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2, or 1 half times base times height. And so all you have to do is put in the base and the height, 12 times 5, divide that by 2, and we get 30 square units. Let's try another triangle here. Now we have a base of 16, and the height is the perpendicular line that goes from the peak to the base. And this happens to be 5. And so this triangle, just like the other one, is half of a rectangle of a 16 by 5 rectangle, and so we use our formula again. 16 times 5 divided by 2 is 80 divided by 2, and we get 40 square units. Now this triangle is a little odd, but it still works in the same, same way. This right here is our base, but what is the height? How are we going to find that? Well, you're going to have to go out here to the left, and uh, this is actually the, uh, the true height of it. And so this one happens to be 6. And so we are going to use our formula again. 14 times 6 divided by 2. We get 84 divided by 2. And that is 42 square units. All right, let's take a look at a parallelogram. Now, a rectangle actually is a parallelogram. It's a perfect parallelogram in that it has 90 degree angles, and we multiply the base times the height. Well, every parallelogram you multiply the base times the height, but you have to make sure that you have the right height. It's the that perpendicular line that goes from the peak to the uh, base, and so that happens to be 9. It's not the left and the side, the left and the right sides at all. So all we have to do is multiply the base times height, 12 times 9, and we get our answer, 108 square feet. Now we're going to take a look at a trapezoid. Now this is a trapezoid, and this is a, 
a shape that has uh, the, the top and bottom are uh, parallel, and you can see they're not the same size. And so if I were to show you what the, uh, the sides were, um, what we have to truly find is the, uh, the height. And so you're usually given the height. Um, and so what we're going to do is we can't use 11 because this is not a rectangle. We can't use 5 because that would be weird. What we're going to do is we're going to take the average of those. And so just to show you that a trapezoid um, can turn into a rectangle, I want to take this piece of the uh, left side of the trapezoid and put it over here. And what you end up is with a, a square or a rectangle. And uh, the base and the height are represented there. And that's what you have to find. You know the height, but the base, you're not sure. It's just part of it. It's not the whole bottom there. So let's put our numbers back in here. And so what we're going to do is we have to find the average of the top and the bottom bases. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the top and bottom and divide it by 2 and then multiply it by height. So that's 5 plus 11 divided by 2 times 7. That's 16 over 2 times 7. And we get 8 times 7, which ends up being 56 square feet. All right, we're going to take a look at another trapezoid, just so you catch it again. And so here we have uh, two bases, 22 on the bottom, 13 on the top, and uh, and 14 is the uh, height. And so we are going to use the same formula. We average those two, uh, the top and bottom, 13 plus 22 divided by 2, and then multiply it by the height, 14. We get 35 divided by 2 times 14. And then that's 17.5 times 14. And I, after using a calculator, I got 245 square feet. So that's how you find the trapezoid. Now, this, these are some problems that you might come across. This is a little bit more advanced um, type of questions that you might see. Uh, if the area of this square is 64 square units, what is the length of D? Now, we know that all of the sides of a square are equal. Okay, so this, they're the same. And we know that the base times height makes the, the area. So, D times D equals 64. Now you should know what number D is because you're familiar with all of your multiplications and you know that D equals 8. Another way you can find it out is uh, just square root 64 and that's 8 as well. Okay, here's another example. If the area of a rectangle is 72 square units, what is the value of B? Now rectangle base times height, and so 12 times b equals 72 as its area. And so we divide 12 on both sides to solve for b, and we get b equals 6 units. All right, the last example here, it says Lulu wants to put tile in her room that costs $3.75 per square foot. If her room measures 11 feet by 14 feet, how much will the tile cost? So here is her room measured. It's 11 feet by 14 feet. And we have to do a couple things here. First, we have to find the area of her bedroom. And that's 11 times 14, which is 154. Then what we're going to do is, since each one of those square feet, the 154, costs 375 each, we're going to have to multiply 154 times 375. And I get 577.5, which uh, converted to money makes $577.50. All right, well, you did it. That was quite a bit for the area. There was a lot there. I always encourage you to go back and look at it again if you, if you need any help. Um, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.